What is up my ducks and drakes? Welcome to the Carter Lake and today I'd like to discuss with you the process of Music Week and the pros and cons of having a week such as Music Week. If you don't know, a couple weeks ago, it was like mid-June, I did an event called Music Week 2nd Annual. Which I said second annual because it's the second year we've done this. It's, it's, that, I made that sound weird. But it's a week where you sing, play instruments, dance, and you just make videos every day out of Music Week, and it's really, really cool. And you, yeah. If you want to check out my videos on Music Week, then you could go on my channel. There's a playlist for them. And so, yeah. But basically, I want to talk about the hardships of Music Week, the pros, the cons, and all the in-betweens within these next couple of videos of Art Mondays. Because I have the drawings from Music Week, so yes, I'm going to do a thing on it. I'm going to start with the pros and cons. I'd say the... I'm going to start with cons. I would say that some of the worst cons of Music Week is firstly just having the post every day. That is extremely difficult with editing, finding a song, recording it itself, especially since we go to our family's campground and there's like no quiet space to record. Like I'm here right now and my sister's being super loud watching TikTok or whatever. I just hear Cat from Sam and Cat over here, like bruh. <laughs> it, another con is that the YouTube algorithm, like the whole YouTube al algorithm in comparison to my videos gets all messed up. Cause like I usually post like this and I do this, but now I'm totally posting like this all week. Yeah. The algorithm's gonna notice that, and the algorithm does not like that. Like, you guys could be thinking I'm over-exaggerating, which I very well could be, but the algorithm is such a stickler, because if people stop clicking on my videos during Music Week, it won't show up in their feed at all, which means I lose views, but if people do click on my Music Week videos, more of my regular uploads will post into their feed, and then I'll get more views. So, depending on how many people click on Music Week depends on how well my videos do, like, as a whole for the next, like, a month or so. So, usually after Music Week, my views drop drastically because I'm not showing up in people's YouTube feeds. And it's kind of annoying, but I keep doing Music Week because it's fun. And that's, that's the whole point of fun. It, it go fun. Now, when it comes to Music Week, I do say that the cons outweigh the pros, but there are still a lot of pros. Firstly, the diversity in the music and being able to experiment. One of the rules of Music Week is you can't do the same artist twice. So, like, if you do Lady Gaga on the first day, you can no longer do Lady Gaga for the rest of the week, which definitely opens up a lot of doors, because if we're allowed to do the same artist every day of the week, I'd just be doing AJ or the Longest Johns, and everyone knows this because that's all I listen to. So with the inclusion of, hey, you have to pick songs besides The Longest Johns and AJR, now I'm up for some trouble. That's when I have to start pulling out things like Sarah Lee and Man's Man, and just, t you. And, and of course I also did that lyric video to, um, Stupid Nintendo Games, which, may I say, making a lyric video is like the worst of editing. Like, you could edit an actual music video all you want. Like, with music videos, at least they're fun to edit. Lyric videos are such a pain. You type out, like, a sentence in the lyrics, then you have to make it the correct size, and then you have to fiddle with the length to make sure that it matches up with the actual sentence being said on the video, and then you have to do the next sentence. Like, making a music video for a three-minute song could take, like, an hour. Like, it's so tedious and annoying, and I hate editing music videos. But here I am, editing music videos, because I wanted to post for Art Monday, even though it was Music Week, so I just combined the two, and I thought that was smart, but it's not smart, because I'm dumb. But, you know, I am with the pros of Music Week. Um, like I said, the diversity. And also, just sing. It gives me an excuse to just sing for a whole week, and frankly that's all I need in life, just excuses to sing more. Like, I could be walking down the street singing, someone would be like, hey, you're singing sex, shitty up. And I'm over here like, excuse to sing. And they're like, oh, yeah, okay, sorry. Which, you know, it's out in public, so they really shouldn't care. 
but like yeah some people do care and yeah but it's mostly just finding excuses to sing in my own house because my grandmother does not like me singing more than a decibel of sound i don't know how much a decibel is but i think that's tiny but yeah I, I'm, not, I'm not good i'm not good at that whole thing so yeah another pro music week is seeing what people have to say about my voice and my musical talents because like music week's the only week where i'll post something musical wise not musical wise but music wise and someone be like hey you suck and this is one i'll be like oh really thank you but it's also the week where i get a lot of constructive criticism on my music and i'll be like yeah i'll improve on that and also I get to see where I'm doing good through what you guys say. And I'm like, okay, I guess I'm doing that good. I'll stick to that too. It's just mostly trial and error and trial and error of just, yeah, music. Now I just want to talk about the inspiration behind some of my song picks. So my first song pick was Stupid Nintendo Games. Now at the time of the release of Music Week 2021, the special Borderline by Scott the Waz on YouTube just came out and I am a huge fan of his channel and his works because oh my gosh he's so entertaining he's so funny like I know this could just be personal opinion but I think just hands down he is the best YouTuber ever like my favorite YouTuber is different from what I think the best YouTuber is like my favorite YouTuber kind of ties in between Cat Icarus, Chad Tronic, and Thomas Sanders which even Thomas Sanders is falling off the brink because he's not doing a good job right now, in my opinion. But once again, that's my opinion. But like Scott the Waz, man, he he is able to be funny, add in jokes, and still get his point across really well, which I think makes him just the best YouTuber in the world. Cause ah, uh, you know, so, I feel like I was, oh yeah how i picked my songs so you know scott the Waz just posted his special borderline which was a musical which i was not expecting at all he doesn't seem like the singy songy type and frankly he can't sing so i had a reason to think that I'm not saying that i don't enjoy the music from the special the, the music was very good just like you could tell he was like talk singing he's not really sing singing because he can't sing sing which is you know understandable so just just that whole special was an inspiration for that first one, which I kind of wish I sung it myself, to be fair. But I had to do something for Art Monday, so yeah. I'll, I should probably do a cover of that song, though. Over 15,000 games to try to discuss and later, shall. <laughs> You're just not right now. And then my second day. What did I sing the second day? Oh yeah, I sang Off to Sea by The Longest Johns, which is my favorite song by The Longest Johns, which if I wanted to stay up to the trends, baby, I would have done Off to Sea. No, that's the song I did do. I would have done Weatherman because that's the popular one. Soon may the weatherman come to bring I would have done that. But that one's so basic and everyone was doing a cover of it, so I'm like, no, I'm not going to be that one. I'm going to be quirky and not like other girls and sing off the sea instead of Wellerman. Ooh, I'm so spicy. But really, I, I regret doing that song because I can't sing. And at least Wellerman would have messed the fact that I can't sing with horrible editing with my clashing voices. So that would have done something. Day three was Wedness Day, which I recorded a Wattpad read aloud along with Sarah Lee, which was my worst mistake. So I'm going to pick up on this again next week if you'd like to see that. My social media links are in the description below. I'm actually posting on a lot of my social medias a lot more now. So if you're not, if you're not following me because I didn't really post before, I can guarantee that I'm posting now. My Instagram's a bop. My Twitter's a bop. My channel has a TikTok if you like to go follow my TikTok. Tumblr, Reddit, Wattpad, like social medias, please. Like, Yes, they're, they're fun to use, fun to play with, not to eat, you know? <laughs> it's, 
If you enjoyed this, please give a thumbs up. Comment below what you what else do you have about Music Week? Like questions you might have about Music Week that I could talk about next week. And like always, do your best.